It's Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity with your succulent tip of the day. And today I am in Bonita at a property, um, at just a gorgeous property. And you can see that this is a gardener's home. This client has done with perennials what I do with succulents. So my challenge today was to create some little intimate beds with succulents that will stand out amongst all the beautiful color and texture that she has with her caprosmas and her lorapetalum and her myoporums and just all the wonderful tapestry of plants she has left and right. So here's the kind of the before for you. Um, the challenge too is, you know, I've told you be careful not to be real matchy matchy with your plants because of microclimates one side or one pot or one plant will invariably grow faster than the other. So my challenge is I want to make the two beds, um, you know, I want to make sure they're balanced and I want them to, to, to mirror and repeat each other. But I know that this side is going to grow faster because this side gets a lot more sun. So here's the, oh, <laughs> It's a good thing there wasn't a pool. I just tripped on my own foot. Here's the after. Uh, what I have, what I've done here uh, is something that I don't do a lot of anymore. You know, I don't, I don't do so much of the real intricate, fussy tapestries with the white creva and the multicolored pebbles and all of that. I'm going to have Greg come over and wet look the smaller rock before, um, before we're done in this yard. But here you go. Uh, I have selected plants that have kind of an undersea feel, which is what the client wanted. And I've utilized one, two, three, three different types of pebble. And this is a honey quartz, a little honey quartz boulder. That's beautiful. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. It's uh it's just a just a cute little tapestry and I've got uh, my other plants over here. I found some cuttings uh, in the yard. Um, the client had collected a few plants that she liked. So that's what I'm using to do my installation. I did also this little cutout right here. I went a little bit different with this one. I did a base of the Creva and then I used a polished jade that I bought it's available in bags at KRC. And then, you know, I've got my little, my little brown kind of creva like super small. I wanted to pull a little bit of this in to kind of tie in the brick here. Um, that was the idea behind that little splash of brown. So if you're, you know, live in anywhere on the West Coast, you know your Aeonium sunbursts are looking kind of ragged right now, just coming out of dormancy. So this sunburst was already here in this bed and you can see it's burnt and looks a little rough, but I'm really confident that this is gonna come out of it and be beautiful. This Echeveria harmsii velvet, I picked up in a 10 inch bowl at Waterwise Botanicals. They are super stunning right now. I'm really, really happy with that. So, you know, just a, a very, very simple installation that I made art with the rock. So this was really fun for me. I'm, uh, I'm very excited about being given the opportunity to work this way again. So I'm gonna come back tomorrow and I'm gonna do that other side over here. And I'll show you when I get done um, kind of where my head was in terms of the microclimates. This has been Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity reporting from Benita, California with your succulent tip of the day.